Zando's back. Tonight we're going to do this real quick puttanesca pomodoro. This is not your traditional puttanesca in the sense that uh, it's braised in tomato sauce with shrimp. And I don't like the anchovy, so I don't put anchovy in this. We're doing more of a fresh Roma tomato with um, garlic, capers, olives, parsley, Roma tomatoes. My pan smoking a little bit. Extra virgin olive oil. Go right in there with our tomatoes. Get some good heat on that, huh? This is a very light dish. Again, I finish this with chicken stock. Keep it nice and light. I'm going to just add some blanched linguine that I have. If you don't know, Check that video on the Blanche Linguini or the Blanche and Pasta. You can do the same technique with any pasta to try that. And I'm not going to try and cook these tomatoes completely mushy. I like to keep a little Christmas to them. I think that's as we got there. It's a little messy. Okay, so now I'm just going to add my caper, garlic olives. I'm not going to add that parsley until last. I don't want that parsley to cook out. I want that fresh parsley flavor and texture in there at the end. This is where it starts to smell really, really good right here. I'm just going to saute this for about, say, three or four minutes. Okay, to that we're going to add a little the salt and pepper mixture that I use. This is kosher salt and pepper. It smells great. And those capers and olives and fresh tomato and the garlic. And turn that up a little bit. We want to get a little color on this. We're not good. We gotta have some color. Okay, so far I've added some salt and pepper. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of oregano. Okay, good Mediterranean oregano, I love that stuff. And a pinch of crushed red pepper, a little bit of heat. Oh, that smells tremendous, oh my god. <laughs> mm. Okay, now that my tomatoes are starting to soften a bit, I'm just going to add, go ahead and toss this fresh parsley in there. Alright, now I'm going to add a little more olive oil, because this is, again, not a heavy tomato sauce like a traditional more of an olio olio to garlic and oil sauce. A little more olive oil in the pan. I'm going to add my cold pasta that's been blanched directly to the pan. Oh man. Mm, smelling good. Smelling good. Mm-hmm. Man, if you guys could smell this. So now what I'm gonna do is add a little chicken broth to it to finish cooking that pasta. And we also want that pasta to soak up the flavor from the garlic, capers, olives. And olive oil, obviously. So add this little broth. And add a couple ounces at a time. And the pasta will absorb this. And at the end, it'll be 
just a ollie olio basically. That pasta is going to absorb this chicken broth, and you're just going to be left with the papers and olives and all the good stuff. But again, nice and light. There's no cream. There's no heavy tomato product. Just a little bit of pasta. And some very flavorful ingredients. You know, traditionally, a puttanesca, you'd add tomato paste and some wine. But trust me, this is just delicious, just like it is. It's nice and light. Not that I have anything against doing that other dish. It's a beautiful dish made with a marinara. Oh, yeah, this is smelling good. Uh, we're going to cook this about another two minutes and let that pasta finish cooking, and you're ready to plate. Okay, guys, this pasta dish is ready. Now, to plate this, we're just going to grab our tongs and pull our pasta on the plate. And what you have left down here is basically your sauce. You're going to go right over the top of this with all of that. Oh, my God. <laughs> this smells so good, guys. Let me know what you think. This is Ando. As always, subscribe. Give me a like. Manja bene.